Oh my, oh my God. Why is it hot? What kind of game is this? everybody, I'm Kelsey and welcome to another video. Today, I've decided to go upon a very noble quest. A quest to find out, is there a game out there that both you and I would like just as much, if not better, than The Sims 4? You guys know I love The Sims 4. I've been playing it pretty much, uh, almost exclusively online for the past four years, probably, which is a long time to play one game. And lately, I have got a bit of a wandering eye. I'm a single girl. I'm detached. I'm ready to meet a new bachelor. And the new bachelor for today is a brand new game called Little Witch in the Woods. As you can see here, it looks absolutely adorable. It's probably closer to a bit of a Stardew Valley than a Sims. I've been waiting for this game for a minute and I'm really excited to play it. I also will be playing it on Twitch, but I thought I might like give a bit of a review here on YouTube too, because I'm just so, 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 excited to be a little witch in the woods. And I thought that you guys might enjoy it too. So make sure to comment below, leave a like on this video, interact as much as possible to show me that you love this so that maybe we will play more of it in the future. I think a change of attire is in order. Can this work? Can I put this on top with my headphones on? What if I put my headphones on top? Listen, it could be a look. <laughs> it would work if these didn't flip out. Feel like a little one of these guys. Nope, it's falling off. Everything's falling, everything's terrible. Okay, moment of silence for the hat. Thought I was gonna do a whole cute little bit. Maybe our editors can pop a, a fake hat on for me for right now. The hat is there in spirit, okay? <laughs> Let's jump into this game. Welcome to Little Witch in the Woods. That's not the voice that my witch will have. Um, that's just a generic witch voice. Shout out to my witches out there. You're the real ones. All right, let's press a button. Boop. <laughs> Train is taking us into witchcraft. I love it. Oh my God, look at this tiny little witch. So that's the main character. That's the character we'll be playing as. Oh, she's going on a little journey. Oh my gosh. Her name is Ellie and look how freaking cute she is. Oh my gosh. She is giving strong Hermione vibes, but this is not affiliated with Harry Potter at all. Oh, perfect. Mwah. Okay, so Ellie is on a train. Is that the hot lion from Zootopia? You know who I'm talking about. That No, it's not a hot lion. It's a hot panther. If you know, you know about the hot panther from Zootopia. Okay, I don't need to explain myself. Anyway, so maybe we'll be hopping into Zootopia. One can dream. Zootopia game actually sounds kind of fun. Anyway, back to it. Ellie says, I'm gonna do a little voice for her. I want where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that? Ooh, the hat is conscious on its own. I love it. Okay. You're still thinking about that? Maybe that's his voice. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. What is it about this carrot? There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. Ooh. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Oh, wait, should I do a British? No, I should not do a British accent. Kelsey, I am the type of girl that likes to whip out a British accent every once in a while, but it's probably not accurate and it's not doing me any favors to do so online when I know some of you are from England and will roast me. Roast the ever-living daylights out of me. And you know what? Deserved. Anyway, I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. You would check a restroom for a carrot? Yes, there are some lines you just don't cross. Agree. I agree with the hat in this moment. We searched the whole school safe for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. Oh my God, look at her little face. She's like, ah, a carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. <laughs> oh my God, Will. Poor Will. Keep in mind that if it went for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Wait, I'm gonna be in jail. What is going on with this little witch? Or dead or six feet under? Okay. Uh, I'm so bored. <laughs> It's a flashback. Flag tests are supposed to be boring. <laughs> Wait, this is a flashback? Oh my God, we got some Deadpool breaking the fourth wall up in here. I see why no one else wants to ride this god awful train. It's boring enough just to drive anyone insane. A ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it stopped the witch's house in High Lion, which all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Ooh, whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. I even looked through the four. Bitten books at 
the hidden library in the school basement. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as the house. Oh my god. No wonder Will started crying. Oh, poor Will. Lace up boots. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to High Lion. Such a random little factoid there. All right, the truth remains one. Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's investigate our table. The food was really delicious though. No, oh, very good. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelet that was overflowing with cheese and crabby. A girl after my own heart loving the food. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Her eyes are so shiny. Well, hopefully we find something interesting. Let's maybe talk to this guy. Let's talk to the bartender. Give me a drink, sir. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Bummer. Do you have any tea? Of course. Why does he have hair on top of his fur? Then I'll have a cup of that. Tea has alcohol though. Is that okay? But that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, pota potato. Want some water. All right, we can do personal stories, chit chat, or shop. We can do lace up boots. Let's ask about the lace up boots. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you will have to take your shoes off before you step foot onto High Lion Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who are all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, ye who reacheth High Lion, look first upon thy shoes or so that's how the saying goes see virgil i was right virgil is the hat's name the peppy shoes mom gave me as a present tell me just as much those are some nice boots right my mom bought them for me when she found out i was graduating manga cum laude it sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics you gonna keep up with that attitude of yours haha -ha. hearing the two of you speak i have a feeling boredom won't be an issue nope it's so boring aren't you bored mr bartender i've gotten used to it but it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school, which is by now. Arson? She is so cute and so mischievous. I am a fan. Let's go ask someone else. Okay, we can't go there. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, let's just ask this guy. Hello, excuse me. Can I ask you about the boots? Oh my God, it's a little otter. He's so cute. He's got a little job. Oh my God. How bad is the engine room he's telling me? Let's ask him about the lace up boots. We don't check the passenger's outfit. Even if you don't check, it's inconvenient to get off if you wear strappy boots. There are so many different types of clothing that cause discomfort. I can't define them all. Then what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? Delays occur once in a while due to their shoes, but again, it's not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Isn't it a matter of harming social reputation rather than the fine? Is that so? Up ahead is the engine room. Small talk is forbidden during operation. Cool. Let's talk to this passenger. Hello. Oh my, oh my God. Why is it hot? What kind of game is this? Why is the fox? Foxy. Look at him. He's got a freaking cravat. And he's got dual chrome eye. What are they called? He's got two different eye colors. That's obviously hot. If you have two different eye colors, you're hot. That is a rule. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Says Ellie. Will there be any humans in this game? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, Roy. Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Highline, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my. Old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. <laughs> what? Well, I used to be a soldier. Oh, so what brings you here? Speak. Oh gosh, okay. Well, let's ask him about the lace-up boots. Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at High Lion. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding? I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, I just realized I was being deceived. So we don't have to take off our shoes when we go to the Highline. Come to think of it, I remember now, it's a joke to make fun of people who visit Highline for the first time. Oh, no. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? The molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny to see me. Flippin' Jenny. We have three more days to wait until we can leave. We did our first quiz. I'm bored. She, of course she is. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. I mean, look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with some strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Wait, hold on, virgin. Shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree on top. Sounds intriguing. A gigantic shining tree? 
I love how the font is wiggling. Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you sign up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any croco pants nearby? I don't know what that word is. Am I a heathen? Do you know that word? Am I supposed to know that word? Oh, it's like a creature. Oh, it's a crocodile elephant combination. Okay, you learn something new every day. There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. <gasps> yes, let's get off and see the shiny tree. Police just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, 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 please. Oh my God, look how cute. I apologize for the inconvenience. You can do no wrong train crew. Can I call you Mr. Crew? A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey to, to a critical issue. <gasps> nice! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning at the departure times. Can we go outside? We'll likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm definitely gonna wander too far from the train. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Wow, it's so dark. Ooh, yeah, it is. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. No! I love it! Cool, so we're searching for the shiny tree. Okay, so we can climb the vines. There we go. I bet there's a path beyond here. Look at my shiny little hat. Can I collect this? Oh, maybe I can. Honey pumpkin. Type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast you can never get rid of it by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. It's over there. Hello, Mr. Nucleus. You're get gone. It looked like a donut. I like it. Goodbye. I did it. Look how cute I am. Bye, bye, bye. It's time to explore. Yay. Okay. Press this to sprint. Wee. Look at me go. Look at me go. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I got a witch flower. Very nice. Look how cute that is. It looks like a little stump or something. Oh, I'm getting stuff in this tree. I got a branch. This music's so cute. I get to shake a bush and acquire some crayon apples. Okay, I'm just, these kind of games are the best for me because I just love just sitting. I could sit for ages in silence collecting items. 100%. No tree unturned. No bush unshaken. It's pretty much telling me we gotta hurry because I can't shake all the trees. Ooh, what's this? though this is so cute what's up here i kind of wish i could break those pots like in legend of zelda you know what i'm saying oh what's this say i think it's up there so we'll go oh look at this map beautiful come on shiny tree oh wait what's that it's shiny what is it i want that i'm trying to get to the peak of the mountain it's 10 p.m Ugh. how do i get oh there it is there's the entrance i was like where is the entrance to the peak here we go the mountain yay i did it I feel like I'm, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's a butterfly. It's a glowing butterfly. It's a glowing butterfly. Repeat, glowing butterfly is happening. There's so many things to interact with. I just can't. So many things blocking the path. This must be a forest with many secrets. What is it? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Ooh, do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue, long as it's drawn well. Okay, how do I, how do I do this? Oh. Cool. Did it, I made it to the shiny tree. It's the gigantic shining tree, the same one that I saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. They're blue moon butterflies, but the butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from the butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. It's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that these two are rare creatures? So what about it? The fact that these two are together is amazing. Oh, they're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower and lucrine otto. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. <gasps> Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. Okay. Oh, blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. We can collect some blue moon butterflies, which is incredible. Wikipedia and quill. Press and hold the quill to button to draw. Once the gauge is full and the drawing is complete, the subject of the drawing will be recorded in the encyclopedia. We're gonna approach it and then use our quill to draw it in our encyclopedia. Okay. We did it! I drew it! Okay, open encyclopedia. Blue moon butterfly. A butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from absorbing moonlight. It is sensitive to sound, but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. Ooh, okay, cool. Habitat and time of appearance. Tools used for collecting, and we can collect that. Okay, cool, this is cute. This is reminding me a bit of a Pokedex where you can like collect different things and learn things about them. This is very wholesome. <gasps> 
A shining white cat? I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to. Let's go after that creature. Oh my god, yes, I'm going after it too, Ellie. Ellie, you and me are aligned here. I will be following this cat. Follow the cat. Follow the cat. Oh, draw them with a quill. Yes, I will draw a quill, actually. Thank you for noticing. Following the cat. Following the cat. Okay, let's investigate. I don't have the right chalk. Are you kidding me? What about this? Acquire. Oh, the cat gave me witch's chalk so I could go follow it. You can draw the same pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. I'm opening it up with my fancy witch chalk. Cat, you can't escape me. There's a house. It's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. Oh my god, look at the cute little jack-o-lantern. Is it Halloween? I don't care. You know what? jack lanterns could be you around. Anyone there? Is anyone there? Seems no one is there. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go to inside. Witch's house. It's so small. This really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking into that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. But the bed looks great. We're gonna sleep in the bed. Let's go to sleep. Oh my gosh, are we getting a dream of the cat? in our dream. Um, oh my God, are we missing the train? I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Really is the sound of the train. Oh my God, we're late. We're gonna, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on train. Wait, oh my God, look how cute these are though. Sorry, I gotta draw these bunnies. A squishy chub, it's called a squishy chub. Oh my gosh, what's that? Listen, I can't help it that I gotta stop and draw everything. Gotta go back to the train. Time to go back to the train, la 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 la. Oh my god, what? Where's the train? It looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. Are you flipping kidding me? It probably went to highlight and no. Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Oh my god. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. <laughs> All right, bird. Oh, now the bird's gone. What is that thing? It's called a gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quiet, I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the gaga bird. Fine, whatever, just be quiet. All right. A letter? How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can spend some time there. Oh, we're gonna go to the village. What a accidental misadventure. Right, let's go back up. Now we can explore fully. I can shake every bush, leave no bush unshaken, leave no tree branch unacquired. Look at all the cuteness. What's over here? Oh, green forest. Oh, I can't get through. Ah, okay. So many places I can't go to yet. It's very classic beginning of the game energy. For sure, for sure. Ooh, can we like mess with this well? Hello, I would like to mess with the well, please. What is it? I want it. I picked it up and I'm squishing it. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I got some of its fur. Wait, that's wild. Oh, and then it went to a little hole. That's cute. I'm gonna squish it and get its fur. Listen, I want your fur, buddy, all right? I don't know why, but I assume there's a reason. We're gonna clean up this witch's house. Why? I don't know, the game is telling me to clean. All right, we got rid of them all. So we're gonna go inside. Ooh, a quest mark. All I see is the dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Oh, it's a notebook, might be useful later. Oh, this is cute. I've gotta clean up and I'll find useful things around here. Ooh, a witch's elevator. Oh. Oh, wow, the house is even bigger and there's more cobwebs. Look at this, Virgil. There must be a dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. I can make potions. My witching dreams are coming true. We should definitely do some cleaning. Oh, uh, cleaning again. Well, you know, it's kind of cute to see everything come to life. An extractor. I'll need to get a gas bottle first in order to use this. More quests. At least to fix the extractor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the village first. I'm still gonna clean up around here. Got some more squishy fur. We're gonna clean up whatever's over here. We're gonna make some potions later. We're gonna grab ingredients. Lunar's oil looks like a recipe for a potion. Yeah. Squishy tub fur and a maple herb extract. We might be able to do that. So I'm gonna get rid of the weeds that uh, are in my way to get into town by making a potion. Okay, I'm extracting. Wait a second. Oh, I see. So I would put that in. It's to four and you don't move. Okay, we're gonna craft. Come on, potion. That sounds like a successful noise. All right, I failed the first time because I didn't know what I was doing, but our second time I got it. We got a weed terminator potion, baby. Let's go. Awesome, the stubborn weeded terminator potion is complete. Let's go back up to the witch's house. We've made a potion. We are on a quest. Here I go. All right, so I've got to remove here. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Oh, I did it, okay, I gotta, I gotta go. Gotta go, remove that. Yeah, suck it. Oh no, 
Oh, there's a big vine in my way into the town. Wisteria, the village is just ahead. Oh, uh -huh. we're gonna talk to this stranger. Hello, do you live in the town? Ooh, see, it's finally a human. Nature is so beautiful. A human that doesn't answer her direct questions. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh yeah, nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. So much that she can't have a conversation? You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. There are a lot of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. Curse lifting candy, we need squishy chub fur extract and maple herb extract. Oh, I have one extract. I do have all this stuff to make it already. Okay. Back to my house. We're gonna make another potion. So we use that and we use this. Gotta look at my book here. We add the extract. We set fire to stage three and we don't stir. All right, no stirring. Let's do it. And here we are. Double, double, toilet in trouble. Adorable. It's, this is so cute. Oh, what is that? A pumpkin terrier. Okay, lives off pumpkin type plants. Oftentimes is covered in pumpkin vines. Oh, so there's an animal under there. Loves to play, so it will try to play hide and seek if you attempt to collect from them. Hello, can I play with you please? I don't know, whatever. It's fine. Let's go give this candy to this person. Shall I give? Yes, we're gonna give her the curse lifting candy. Would you like to try this? May the blessing of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? <laughs> yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much to hell with nature. <laughs> Yes, I got a bottle. How much is this? Oh, never mind. It's a return for breaking my curse. Wow, thank God. Oh, and take this too. Oh, a recipe for healing candy. We'll be able to fix the extractor. We don't need to leave this moment. First, let's just get into the village. Maybe the village is awesome. We don't know. Going down the elevator. Let's activate this. Now I can use the extractor. We fixed it. I can finally make potions properly. Then what do I do now? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make weed terminator potion, get rid of a little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that we've been blocked. Oh, let's look through the forest. There must be something. Okay, cute. All right, so now I get to make more of this weed potion. So we need squishy fur and witch flower. So I have one extract for the fur, but I need witch's flower. On a quest. Whoa, there's a crow. Is the crow gonna be mad? Is the crow like, this is my house. Get out of here, you witch. Yep, see, I knew it. This crow is gonna evict to me, just like in The Sims. Oh, it's a witch's crow. Oh, she's <laughs> the witch returns, the witch returns. Is it my crow? I kind of wanted a cat, but I'll take a crow. Wait, what happened to that cat? This does feel a little like Stardew because it feels like at the end of the day, you kind of need to sleep. Can I not interact with this? Oh yes, here we go. We got one witch's flower. So we need at least two. What about you? Oh, it doesn't like it. Come here, come here you. Get back here, I wanna take all your stuff off. Come here. Listen, it sounded worse than I meant it. Did it. Oh, I got the pumpkin terrier fur. That was hard one. I did chase you around so much to try to get that fur off of you. Yes, witch flower. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's keep going. Look at that, Virgil. It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. Where? Better get rid of it before grows anymore. I gotta go make that potion now, I guess, in order to go to that place. But at least I found the place I needed to go to. Let's go make a potion. Come on, potion. Yay! I didn't double check, so I was a little bit nervous that I would get it wrong, but I got it right. I got a weed terminator potion. Back out to discover what is behind the mysterious vine. Running through the forest with my glowy hat. In the darkness, it's 9 p.m. Goodbye, plants. <gasps> Oh my gosh, what is happening here? Hello, can I get down there? Uh, excuse me. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! What's going on? Rubrum, stuck in a spider web. Oh, he's lost consciousness. I'm Ellie, I'm an apprentice witch. A witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch whose eyes are so shiny. Be my best friend. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. Hee <laughs> hee. My name is Rubrum. I live in the village with my grandma, but now I'm stuck in a spider web. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. We're gonna have to go get maple herb. New quest. Gotta take care of this fox. Maybe the fox will help us get back to the village. Who 
knows? Also, what's over here? Not a lot. All right, moving on. Where's my house? I'm lost. Okay, yes, I'm, I'm found again. I know where I am. Ah, classic getting lost in game. Been a minute since I've gotten lost in a game. Right, let's go to sleep. Good night. We need to go grab that thing that grows on the side of cliffs. I think we just need one. The plant to save our, our new friend here. Go grab a plant to save our new friend. She's so cute. I like being this little witch of the woods. I like how the way she looks like, she's like hobbling. Like, <laughs> that's what she looks like to me. Grabbed one there. Move over. There we go. Grab another there. Oh, there's our mangoes. We don't want a mango. Yes, I got the maple herb. Let's go back. Hi, I'm glad the spider didn't come and get you in the night. That makes me very happy. I'm coming. Here you go. Are you okay? Yeah, probably. Can you walk? Okay. Then let's go to the witch's house together. Oh my God. Look at me. Me and a little buddy. Oh, we can't go down this way. Oh my God. Where did my fox go? Okay. It's like, uh, my fox is gone. Oh no, what happened to my fox? Why did you fall? I can't walk because my legs hurt. Oh no. I'll give you a hug. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Okay. Don't worry. I'll get you there, little fox buddy. Thanks. Oh, we completed that mission. Rubrum's leg still hurts a bit. Yeah, we're gonna treat the leg. All right, so how do we do this? So we need witch flower and maple herb. Do I have either of those things? We'll find out. I do not have maple herb. All right, back out we go. I see these birds and I want to draw them. No, let me draw you like a French girl. Okay, here we go. I just want to draw you. Oh, it's little head thing turned into a flower. It's a sprout bird. A common bird found in the green forest. The sprout on their head will shrivel up or bloom with flowers. They drop their flowers behind should you scare them away. Oh, I thought it would drop a flower since I saw it bloom. But oh well, I guess not. Let's go back to my fox friend and heal them up. We made all our maple herb. Now we'll make all of our witch flower. I like how it's so much taller than her. She has to jump up to get it. Set spire to stage four and stir the latest right okay I've never done this one before two witch flower and then two maple herb stage four and go right okay two of those two of those stage four perfect and ladle direction to the right is this right? And let's craft. Come on, Candy. Come on, Candy. I did it! Suck it, Snape. I'd be an amazing potions person. We got a healing candy. Guess what I got for your leg, little cutie? Wow, what is this? Is this candy? Yeah, it's a candy to heal your leg. Wait, you could just heal yourself with candy? This tastes awful. It's good for your health. So how did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. Time flew by and then the giant prickly vines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of a train. I went to towards the train and a strange bird certainly started chasing after me. Must have been that bird, not the train. I went to do a deep place and I was running away and then I found a treasure map and got caught in the cider web as I was trying to pick it up. What, a treasure map? Yeah, I knew Ellie would be pumped about that because I'm pumped about that. Ellie and I, same brain, same brain. I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? Ellie, can I follow you too? I'm bored since I'm at home all the time. What do you say? Okay, fine, but we'll be careful. I want to see if pirate treasure can be acquired. I want to see it make the little flower. Yeah, go. Yes, I got it. I got the flower. Nailed it. What is it? A boom potion. I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? The important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with and also something to blow up. You're super excited. Then shall we go try it right away? What are we gonna blow up? Oh! It's not treasure that we found. It was the boom potion. So we're gonna blow up the plants. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you plan to destroy everything on top of getting into trouble? Hey, what do you take me for? Boom potion. Don't you feel the almighty power just from the name? Go boom potion. Potion? Oh my god. We well, just wasted a boom potion on that? Must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are those fragments coming out of it? Oh, seems to have worked a little bit, but the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. Ah, dang it. I might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. There aren't even in my codex. Wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's ask, show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Oh, is this the fragment of that prickly vine? Yes, that's it. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either, but I have something that might be helpful. Ooh. Ta-da, a universal product appraisal machine. <gasps> Ooh, it's a tool made by some witch. The power of the moon, of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of an object. Don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this one time. Aw, that's very nice. All right, here it goes. Huh? The prickly vine fragment has disappeared. Maybe because of a grudge against nature? No, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and analyzes the reflected light. <gasps> 
which means that if we shoot moonlight on the prickly stuff, then it's gonna disappear. I'm brilliant, thank you. Number one witch, yes, top witch of her class. This is me, I've earned this hat, even though it won't fit on my head. Thank you, I am the best witch. My hat doesn't talk, but oh my gosh. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight. Ah, it seems like something's coming up in my mind. Oh, I remember, avoiding the moon. There are plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right, this prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I think I've also heard of plants like that. I'm glad this tool is working fine. Thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. No, I'm the one who should be thankful. Work hard. Do you need anything? Oh no, I'm good. See you next time. Well, I think I might leave this one right here. Is it something that could replace the Sims in the long term? Probably not, but in the short term, most definitely. I'm very engaged in the mystery of this game. It's absolutely adorable. I definitely think I could sink my teeth into it for a long period of time, collecting all the items, meeting all the cute characters and helping them on all of their quests, healing people and everything. It's very sweet, but I do think this type of game, it doesn't seem to have as much replayability, unlike The Sims, which you can replay again and again and find new stories every time. So let me know if there's any other games you would like me to check out in the comments below. If you don't see me playing it again on the main channel, you probably will be seeing it on my secondary channel, More Kelsey and Peach K. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye! What's not to like about this game? Little, check. Witch, check. Woods, check. Talking animal friends, check. Entirely two hot foxes on trains, check.